Let's cut straight to the point. This game is stinky doo-doo, but I'm going to say this bluntly. Commandos 2 is not good. It's the most boring run and gun that I've ever played. In the context of it being a ripoff of Metal Slug right down to the sprites, it's a poor imitation of a great arcade run and gun. Just like everything else SNK has ever made, Metal Slug is some of the best sprite work ever made. Modern sprite based games wish they looked this good. But they don't have a 110 billion dollar budget and some of the most talented animators ever, so I'll slide in this one. But it's not just that Metal Slug looks good, it plays good too. It's fast, chaotic, and a blast to play. I can go on and on about how good the Metal Slug games are, but I'm not talking about Metal Slug, I'm talking about fucking Commandos 2. A flash game that blatantly steals sprites from Metal Slug. I feel that it's a little unfair to compare a flash game to a top of the line arcade game. For the rest of the time I talk about Commandos 2, I'll try to divorce it as much as I can from the game it's imitating and judge it on its own merits. In Commandos 2, you play as dude or chick. You have to shoot the Nazis and Viet Cong because stuff. You run and you shoot. Unfortunately, movement's awful. So is the gunplay. The bullets don't come out of the gun. It's like they spawn in front of the gun. So you can be aiming your gun right in front of an enemy and all your bullets will just pass right through them. On top of that, hit detection and a confirmation that you're actually damaging the enemy is non-existent. You only know that you're damaging the enemy when they drop dead. Other than that, you have no idea how well you're doing or if your bullets are actually hitting them. Movement is slippery garbage. In later levels of the game, you have to jump on these floating platforms, and if you miss them, you die instantly and have to start the whole level over again. Even if the platform is as close as it can be to the edge, you can still slide right through it and die. Nothing you do in this game has any level of precision to it. All the guns just feel like shit, and you eat through ammo like it's nothing. Now, making a comparison to other games for a moment, in Contra, you have a standard machine gun on you at all times. This base gun is fine on its own, but you can upgrade it either permanently or temporarily through power-ups. When you die, you lose these power-ups and you can trade power-ups for different power-ups. You see this type of design in a lot of different shoot-em-ups and running guns. It gives the player a quick form progression, but also allows the devs to balance the game around the power-ups it gives you. If the player is more than likely to have a power-up that lets them shoot in three directions, then throwing enemies from multiple directions is fair game. Some games skip the system entirely, have players choose what weapon types they want to use from the start. In a run gun, only having one weapon to use at all times can sound pretty limiting on paper, but it eliminates the need for the player to constantly be switching weapons when you're in the heat of battle. You don't want to be switching between 20,000 guns at a time. Commandos 2? didn't get this memo. Instead, you pick your loadout at the beginning of every mission, you have a selection of handguns, assault rifles, explosives, sniper rifles... I think, I don't really remember, I think they're there? Uh, I didn't check, I don't, I don't fucking care. You can use six at a time, but you're always stuck with a fucking useless infinite ammo handgun. It's slow and it deals poor damage. Personally, I think the designer should just abandon the handgun entirely and made the assault rifle the gun of infinite ammo. When I'm taking on a spider crab mech, the last gun I want to use against it is a fucking handgun that shoots at the rate of a children's sing-along song. But it also creates this issue where you're switching between six different guns until you reach the gun that still has ammo. Guns have limited ammo with the exception of handguns, but you can refill ammo with ammo boxes. Problem is that ammo boxes only refill ammo for the currently equipped weapon. An easy fix for a problem like this would be just making it so that ammo boxes refill ammo for all guns, not just the one you're currently holding, and you'll run out of ammo for all your good weapons sooner than later. Levels are these exercise and tedium and patience. They just go on and on. Some levels have multiple bosses, but just keep fucking going. I didn't even finish this game for fuck's sakes. The final level is this gauntlet of bosses with no ammo refills that drags on for fucking ever. You're guaranteed to run out of ammo for all of your guns in this fight and get stuck with using the fucking handgun for the last phase. After dying a few times, I stopped playing the game. I gave up. I have dropped better games for less reasons.
I could have kept throwing myself at this boss until I gained enough skill to kill it, but I didn't care anymore. I wasn't having fun from the start. I tend to believe there's no such thing as good or bad art, but rather boring and interesting art. Commandos 2 falls into the boring category. It's so boring. There's only one word I left to describe it. It's boring. From the moment I started the game, I wanted to stop playing it. I only played this game because a friend who I'll not name begged me to. For a change of pace, how about I talk about a game that I think is alright. Gigantic Army is some Japanese indie game made by some dudes. These dudes are released a bunch of games and all of them seem well received. They have even done homebrew ports of the Dreamcast or some of their games. Gigantic Army isn't a Metal Slug clone, but instead is a clone of Salt Suit Lanos. But I consider that a good thing, because how many games can you say are a copy of a Salt Suit Lanos? I can find millions of games that play like Metal Slug or Contra, and those series have a bunch of games, but how many mech-based running guns exist? To my knowledge, a Salt Suit Lanos series and Metal Warrior there may be a few I left out, but it's pretty slim pickings. A game being a copy of a good game is fine by me. And that's all I really have to say about Gigantic Army. It's good. It's a fun arcadey side-scrolling mech game. The only downside is its pathetic resolution and its manual being entirely in Japanese. Otherwise, it's cheap and it's on Steam and Switch. But now this brings up the argument of price. Gigantic Army is $6 on Steam, but I got during the Golden Week sale for a dollar. Commandos 2 is a free Flash game, so what if you want to play something like Commandos 2 but don't have a job? Well, you have two options. Get a job and buy Gigantic Army, or two, don't play Gigantic Army, and just emulate already existing good run and gun games for free using emulators like MAME. Under no circumstance, play fucking Commandos 2.